can we talk about Beyonce? Hurricane bitch. Oh. Here comes the 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 hurricane bitch. Oh. Oh. Country, country, country. Can we talk about Beyonce? <laughs> Can we talk about this Renaissance tour? Hold on. Let me fix my throat. I think that, that was tequila. Let's really dive in and talk about this Renaissance tour, y'all. Like, I really feel, and it's a lot of things that I don't like because a lot of the girls, a lot of you girls, are getting a little weird when it comes to Beyonce. And we're about to really talk about that because there's some things that I've been hearing in the streets. I don't know, y'all just getting a little weird when it comes to Beyonce, and I'm about to talk about that. But can we talk about the Renaissance tour? Beyonce is Beyonce per usual on this Renaissance tour. And I know for those of you that have not seen her yet, everybody has been releasing videos and snippets, and we love to see it. Whether we got tickets or not, we love to see it. Okay. Now, I've been looking at the clips. Trying not to look at the clips. But low-key looking at the clips that y'all been posting on TikTok and Instagram. And baby, I am pleased. I am thoroughly here for it. Because one thing about Beyonce. She gonna snatch your edges. Clean off. She gonna push your wig. Clean and fold it. To the back of your neck and you're gonna be wearing it like a scarf okay so i think with this tour that makes this tour different than the other tours that she has been on is the visuals It's different than any tour she has ever had. Or is it just me, right? First of all, can we talk about that big screen? Can we talk about the visuals, the pictures on the screen? The screen is massive. That little half a circle she comes out of. And then the band is sitting inside the circle on platforms. Most importantly, can we talk about her dancers? Her dancers. I don't know who Shorty is, but it is she is giving me life. I don't know who she is. I should have did research and found out her name, but sometimes I'm lazy. Okay. She is giving me life. When I tell you, when these dancers got the phone call saying they was gonna be a part of the tour, baby, they came ready. They came prepared. And I want to talk about the backlash that Beyonce has been getting. I don't, and, and let me tell you something. This is the part that make me feel like a lot of y'all girls, a lot of the girls is being weird. Y'all being weirdos. Let me tell you something. Beyonce has been in the game for over 20 years. Argue with your mammy, but it's been over 20 years. This woman has been singing probably since in the damn womb okay she has been performing and doing a lot more than what the girls do we ain't gonna name no names 
but baby, it don't be giving performances when y'all be stepping on the stage. It's giving backstage crew. It's not giving performer. So when we see Beyonce, we know that we are going to get a thorough performance. So a lot of people's been saying like Beyonce is not really performing to her full potential the way people are normally used to her performing. But you have to understand, we have been watching her perform for years. Full out fucking eight counts. Okay, damn near doing backflips on the stage, singing while pregnant, dropping music while pregnant. Oh, child. I'm sick of y'all. As she's in her 40s, three kids, married, she technically has money. She don't really have to give us any music, so you want grateful hoes are making it bad for the rest of us that truly ap appreciates artistry. Like, okay, she's not dancing full out and allegedly they said that she had surgery on her ankle. Like, I get that. If it's true, I get it. And that's okay. Beyonce has be, been beyonce for over 20 years. If she wants to chill out, she can chill out. If Beyonce wants to come on stage sitting in a fucking chair for three hours she can do that let's also talk about but not forget <clears throat> she hired the les twins to come on tour with her and you know one thing about them they're going to eat up the stage <laughs> No crumbs. No fucking crumbs. But what makes this tour different than any tour she has been on is the album. The Renaissance album. Renaissance meaning new birth. And we think about Renaissance, we think about black folk. Kin folk. My skin folk. Okay. I love the fact that this album really touched on a lot of the ballroom scene and i was born in the 90s but baby i wasn't old enough to be going to the ballroom i heard the stories i was in the rooms when they were sharing the stories about the ballroom my dad used to go to the ballroom and they used to dance they ass off so when i tell you this album was nostalgic. This album was something that we did not know that we needed, but we knew that we needed it from Beyonce. How'd that work? The craziest thing about this tour, three hours, no openers, no closers, no in-between, a three hour concert, just her. So when y'all say she's not giving, she's not dancing full out, it's just giving basic because this tool, because this album fulfilled us so much, we were expecting her to go as hard as she normally does or as hard as this album goes. And it wasn't given. That's what a lot of y'all said. But the thing about this is, a three hour concert with her by herself. None of the girls are doing it. None of the girls are doing it. The vocals are there. The vocals are vocaling. Like I said, Beyonce could come and sit down in a chair in the middle of the fucking concert and the concert will be concerting, okay? we will still be getting our life and our edges will still be peeled the fuck back so this idea of a woman of her caliber that 
she has to just be giving us all. And, and Beyonce has done the things. Beyonce is here. She has given us her all consistently. I, 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 I do want to apologize to her, though, because... I went through withdrawals because I was waiting with bated breath for the visuals. But Beyonce let it be known, okay? She is the queen of this shit. And whatever she gets, whatever she puts out, you're going to eat it. And she's right. But the thing about it is, I think you guys are being too hard on her. I think you guys are being too hard on her. Beyonce has given us a lot throughout her career and it's okay if she wants to slow down it's okay if she wants to retire do i feel like she's gonna retire no but is it okay if beyonce chooses to slow down and relax and just use her god-given gifts and her voice to serenade us that's okay and a lot of you guys are sitting on beyonce's internet talking about it's just not fair i paid this much for tickets i paid that much for tickets she deserves to dance full out well you get up there and do it shut up girl shut up can you do it i also feel like it definitely could be the ankle injury that could have a lot to do with it but the dancers are dancing the visuals are there the costumes are no shade but better than any of the costumes that she has had on previous tours this is top notch and you could tell she sat down and really thoroughly planned this out planned this concert out she you could tell she thoroughly handpicked her dancers she thoroughly handpicked what her musicians were even going to wear and the placements and the arrangements and how the songs were going to go you can tell she put her heart and her soul into creating this masterpiece not only the album but the renaissance tour and y'all still being greedy ultimately think that y'all being too hard on Beyonce when your favorite rapper could go up on stage and did one push up since 1993 barely know the words to his own damn songs singing with a damn backing track coming late smelling like weed ain't got no visuals ain't got no dancers and got a half a dj up there and y'all be eating it up and y'all don't say anything to these male artists that be giving us the bare minimum but a lot of these female r&b singers a lot of these women these seasoned mature artists that truly know artistry And y'all expecting them to bend over backwards and do the most when their artistry really speaks for itself. Meanwhile, the men is they're giving us doo-doo. And because I was born around the Michael Jackson era, I know I want to say that she is the only person of our time that could be compared to Michael Jackson. She is the Michael Jackson of our day. And y'all can't tell me different. Y'all can't tell me no damn different. But I want you guys to let up off of Beyonce. I think she has done more than just proven herself. There's nothing left to really do, but as we know, Beyonce is always going to find a way to reinvent herself and top what she did last year, top what she did the year before. She's only in competition with herself because she's not in competition with the girls. Because while the girls are critiquing her performance, when they should be taking notes, that's all I got to say. Bye, y'all.